Minnesota Wild 4, Chicago Blackhawks 3. Uh, absolutely stunning win for the Minnesota Wild tonight. Uh, taking one away when the Blackhawks were 23 seconds from stealing two points clean on the road. Uh, Jason Zucker has a pair of goals, including the game winner. Uh, funny how he mentioned in the media uh, pregame that you know the big guys needed to step up on this team, and he answered the call here tonight. Um, and as again, and again, that including that game-winning goal, and uh, really, you don't see him. Uh, we really haven't seen him shine uh, big time in overtime yet. Um, so uh, that was good to see him notch that uh, game-winning goal, his 16th career game-winning goal, uh, 16 for 16, if you will. Um, Devin Dubnik very sharp tonight for Minnesota. Uh, the three goals you know, not, doesn't look that great, but um, he had some big saves in the third and overtime to keep Minnesota um, just down a goal or you know tied uh, to give them the chance to have that two points. Um, so tip your cap to Devin Dubnik and tip your cap to Cam Ward on the other side. Uh, very good game from the opposition goaltender. Very hard to believe that uh, 2006 version of Cam Ward was activated here tonight. Weird how that always happens in the Minnesota Wild, but um, you know, again, tip your cap to him as well. He had 41 or 42 saves uh, for the Blackhawks tonight. Wild did a really good job of peppering Cam Ward. Um, they were a lot better on puck possession, um, getting shots, um, you know, just having breakouts through the neutral zone, things I talked about pregame, things they need to do better, they did better tonight. Still a lot of things to work on, but um, you know, a much more improved game from the Minnesota Wild. Again, not a great game, but an improved game, and they got the two points. They were able to kind of rally around, um, and good for Ryan Suter to get that tying goal there out front of the net. Um, he looked much better tonight. Um, had the had the pass essentially that started the the play to win for Minnesota in overtime. So um, you know just a lot more positives for Minnesota tonight. Jewel Erickson Eck looked good even though he was bumped down from the first line after the first period. Um, Jordan Greenway had a lot of missed opportunities for shots, um, but I thought he looked uh, decent uh, besides the shooting aspect of his game tonight. Uh, so that's good to see. Um, you know, and like I said, just more positives tonight from the Wild. Uh, we'll kind of get more into that um, on Sunday's Giles and Goalie podcast, hopefully following another positive performance on Saturday against Carolina. But um, it's you got to feel good about this, and hopefully for Wild fans, this is a win that – you know, hopefully turns the tide, gets gets the ball rolling on this team, and hopefully propels them, um, you know, up to do bigger and better things than what we saw out of them from the first two games. So uh, we will chat with you again uh, Saturday pregame uh, and Saturday postgame, and then we will have a new recording of the Giles and Goalie podcast on Sunday. Uh, if you haven't yet, give our last uh, episode. Uh, a listen. We introduced a few new things this year. Hopefully, give you a more well-rounded show um, here in 2018-19. So, we will chat with you after the game on Saturday. Later.